So to do Padlet, you go to Padlet.com and here's my dashboard because I already have some Padlets created. Um, the first thing you'd have to do is you would log in or sign up and then you would create a new Padlet once you did that. And so here's a, a brand new Padlet, but you can modify this pad Padlet and so you can add a soccer player up here, it could be a notepad, that's too far away for me to see, birthday cake, world, and then you can add a title for whatever you want it to be. So um, the title could be the title of your book you're doing, it could be the, whatever you want. So for example, it could be Johnny Tremaine, you're going to have to ignore my family. And description could be chapter description of the giver. So then that all appears up in the left corner where you can see right here. Then over here, you can have some other options. You can add links, notifications. You can change your layout. So free form is what we did today is where you click, anywhere you click, it pops up, and you can do that. You can have the stream, where it'll come up, and I'll just list it in a stream, as, as the, the first, the most recent will appear on top, and it'll stream through, or you can have a grid. I like freeform when I do brainstorming, because it gives the students a chance just to pop their ideas everywhere, and you can look around and just find different ideas wherever you want it to be. Now, wallpaper, it's just what appears in the background. Right now it's just blank paper. You can make it confetti, which is a little shocking to the eyes. Grass, you have to like the color green. Kaleidoscope, that's just yikes. I like map. This is nice, except I don't know how you get a bird on a leash. They've managed to. Stars, oh, that's nice like that. So you can change your background and do and do that. And then once you're done you can share you can share the social media anywhere you want. You can export as an image. You'd only want to do that after um, people have contributed what they have. You can embed it into a website, whatever. Um, or you can copy this and you can go to goo.gl, which is my favorite way of sharing different websites, as you probably know. I shorten it and then I would put this up on the whiteboard or on my school site, and the students would find it and go to that and then they would be able to add their con contributions to that Padlet. So that's pretty much um, how you create a Padlet. I didn't get, I was going to show you that, but with how crazy Starbucks was today, I didn't get a chance to. So I wanted to attach that or put that in the email.